Hey, Jordan here. How you doing? You know, I want to talk to you about a problem that a lot of network marketers have. And, and, and the reason I know it's a problem is because regularly I get emails and uh, uh, voicemail messages from people saying, Jordan, I got a problem and I need to talk to you about it. And then when I get back with them, they say, my upline quit the business and I don't have anybody to help me. And I hear this on a regular basis. And so I know it's a big issue out there. In fact, some of you are listening to me say this and you're nodding your head saying, that's why I haven't been successful because I don't have anybody to help me. I don't have an up, active upline because my sponsor quit. Well, the only thing I have to say to you is welcome to the club. You know what? Most successful network marketers, most people that have built large organizations in network marketing have an upline that quit because you know what? Most people quit the business. So if you plan on succeeding in the business, expect that it's possible that there's someone in your upline that didn't quite make it, and most likely they're not gonna be there to help you. And you know what I've learned? The more successful someone is, the less time they have to help everyone in their organization. Now they can do conference calls and you know periodically be available for a three-way call, but the reality is things will transform with you, things will transform for you the day that you take 100% responsibility for your business and say, you know what, I don't need an active upline to be successful. I need to take responsibility for my business and learn the basic fundamental skills necessary to grow an organization, which include on a daily basis adding new people to my list, learning how to set up a simple appointment through phone calls or texting or inbox messaging, learning how to show the business to someone, how to follow up with them on an ongoing regular basis and continue to add people to your contact manager, and how to sponsor and train a new distributor. These are basic skills and they're not difficult skills. They're, they're actually quite simple. You might have to practice them a little bit, but get good at those things and you won't need an upline. There's so many resources available today. You know, back when I started in network marketing in the early 80s, there are three books written on the topic of network marketing. Today there's hundreds. There's so many audio downloads today and YouTube videos that will teach you the fundamentals of building a successful network marketing organization. You have all the resources that you need at your fingertips and if you didn't have an active upline to help you do three-way calls and things like that, then you be a better upline. When you sponsor somebody new, you be available to them to help them and assist them in building their business and bringing in their first couple of distributors. Even if you've got a really active upline that does three-way calls to help their organization grow, at the very most, they'll be doing maybe one, two, maybe three three-way calls with you a month just in the beginning to help you get going. But ultimately, you're gonna be the one responsible for your business. The way I like to frame it is, when I started in my business, I view myself as if I'm the founder of the company. You are the founder of your company. I'm the founder of my company. And my job is to put together an organization. It's not my upline's job. It's not the company's job. It's not my compensation plan that's gonna do it. This is not a lottery. It's through the enthusiasm that I have for the product and the business opportunity through my skills and preparing myself through networking, that's what's going to ultimately put together an organization. And that's what you want to do. The day you take responsibility for your business, the day you say, this is my business, I'm in control, I'm going to build this thing, I'm going to be responsible for my growth, that's the day that things will take off. I had a, uh, a mentor years ago long before I ever sponsored my first distributor in network marketing, sit me down and say, the reason there's no growth in Arizona is because there's no leadership in Arizona. And I took, I took, that, I took a little offense to that because I kind of viewed myself as a leader, even though I never brought anybody into the business. And you know what? It was the best thing he could ever said to me because it, 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 it quite frankly, it pissed me off a little bit. Uh, but, but it was the best thing he ever said because what it did is it made me think for just a moment, you know what, maybe I need to take some responsibility and be the one, you be the one. Uh, this is Jordan coming to you from Arizona. We'll see you on the beach.